It is not uncommon for DVDs to also have chapter menus to allow us to navigate to specific points within a video without having to play through the entire video beforehand. We're going to do that just now. We're going to start off by creating a menu to house all of the links for our chapters. Now I've already created a menu here. Here we are, chapter menu. So I'm going to go to our home menu and I'm going to create another new button. Position of my direct select tool and convert it to a button. And then lastly, link it to my chapter menu. As we can now see from our flowchart, we have our video, our slideshow, and also our chapter menu. Now, menus don't have end actions, so we'll need to create a button within our chapter menu to navigate us back to the home menu. I'm just going to link that to our home menu. Now we can see it in the flowchart, the chapter menu links to the home menu. I'm just going to quickly test that. We can go to chapters, back, chapters, back. So we've created our menu for our chapters to go in. Now let's create chapters within our timeline to create links to. To do that, we quite simply go to the timeline that we want to create the chapters, play the video, and when we get to a point we want to create a chapter, we simply click this button here, Add Chapter. And we can scroll through with our playhead. When you find what you want, click Add Chapter. The next thing for us to do is to create the buttons within the chapter menu to link to the chapter markers we've just placed on our timeline. So I'm going to go to the menu monitor up here and I'm going to select my chapter menu. I'm going to create a button for each chapter. So we have chapter one, and I'm going to link that with the chapter one marker. So if we look down here, we have our main video and now, because we've created multiple markers, we will see that there's more than one option. There's chapter one, two, and three. So I can select chapter one. So I'm going to copy and paste this button here. I'm going to convert it to a button. And I'm going to Change that to chapter two. And then I'm going to link that to chapter two. I'll do that one last time. I'm going to paste that piece of text, position it. change what it says, convert it to a button, and then link it to chapter 3. Now we see our flow chart, you'll see we have our chapter menu with buttons that take us to our home menu and each chapter within our video. 
Now, when we have multiple items on our flowchart, it can be quite difficult to clearly see what is happening. Now, on our flowchart, we also have this zoom button here that allows us to move in and out of our flowchart. And if we take the move tool from our toolbar, we're able to drag and reposition elements with on within the flow chart so we can better see where everything is placed. Now we've constructed our DVD, we can customize the menus to